Now for something completely different. Smoke medical. We eat every day. The following thoughts on Hoffy Hour represent Brian Hoffy and Pastor. Listener discretion is advised. Live from Tampa Bay. You are tuned in to Happy Hour. He's the voice of a generation that got screwed by the baby boomers. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour starts in four, three, two. Happy, happy, happy. This is Happy Hour with Happy. What's up? This is Happy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy, hanging out with you for the next hour or so. So you can always call the show, 856-49-HOPPY. It's 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio. You can always email me, ryanhoppyradio at gmail.com. And that's R-Y-A-N-H-O-P-P. And if this is the first time you've heard my show, hi, This is a mix of celebrity news, dating, and much more. It's a morning radio show and a podcast. And we have so much to get into. A lot of times radio shows will talk about what they're going to get into for 20 minutes and not get into it, but we're different here. Happy Hot Topic! Now, I talked about this on yesterday's show, but I'll talk about it again. Growing up, I despised a lot of celebrities because I was trying to be, you know, different. I was trying to be outgoing and just kind of edgy. But there is one celebrity that I take pride in having utter hatred for. And that celebrity is Alec Baldwin. Get ready for a front row seat at Alec Baldwin's wild family life. If you've ever wondered why... I got a vasectomy at age 28. Listen to the sound of the screaming kids in the background. I'm good. I was playing NBA 2K last night until 10 p.m. I'm not set up to be a father. Alec Baldwin's Wild Family Life. The new reality show is called, what else? The Baldwins. We're inviting you into our home to experience the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the wild. You know, the funny part is any of the bad parts of the Baldwin family, they're just going to like show like a scripted version. They're not going to actually show the wicked arguments between uh, his wife and him. I mean, you really think they're going to show the bad sides? Mm Mm-hmm. Come on now. We're inviting you into our home to experience the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the wild, and the crazy. Home is the place we love to be most. They're all there. The embattled actor with his wife, Ilaria, and their seven kids. They- you know she's with him for the money, and I'm not saying that to sound like a shock jock or anything, but he is just a repulsive human being. But I got to give it to him. He looks like he's been hitting the gym lately because he's wearing a dress shirt, and his arms do look pretty big. So it's not like he's a bad-looking guy, but you know that personality. You know, laying next to him at night must be repulsive. They drop the news in a wacky Instagram post, and the clip begins with them joking about the size of their family. Hi, I'm Ilaria Baldwin. And I'm Alec Baldwin. And we have an announcement to make. Oh my goodness, I see why she spoke in that fake Spanish accent. Me, 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 me. She sounds like a chipmunk. Hi, I'm Ilaria Baldwin. And I'm Alec Baldwin. And we have an announcement to make. Good God, no. No, definitely not. We're done having kids. The news comes as Baldwin goes on trial next month for involuntary manslaughter. Uh, for- um. Maybe it's just me. I don't think it is, but it's quite the coincidence that all of a sudden they're giving him a reality show right around the time that his court case is going on. You know why they gave him the show? I'll tell you right now, ladies and gen- ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the gallery, to everybody listening in London, Missouri, Detroit, Fort Myers, Tampa, and worldwide. They gave him the show because he hit up TLC and was like, hi, I need to look good so that I don't go to prison. And they're like, yeah, we'll give you a TV show. A lot of people will watch it. You're one of the most famous actors ever. For firing the revolver that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the movie Rust. He pled not guilty. Alexis, Could you imagine if he did plead guilty and was like, yeah, I did it, whatever. 
Oxy. Alexis Bellino was part of the Real Housewives of Orange County for five seasons, and she certainly doesn't think this will hurt Baldwin. I think, of course, it's gonna not hurt him. It's gonna make him look human. Now it's all scripted nonsense, but it seems like in America, for the most part, unless it's like the Trump trial, jurors are not the smartest. So they're going to be easily influenced by this. I know they're not they're not supposed to know about things beforehand, but I never believe that. Of course it's not going to hurt him. I think it's a very smart move, and I think everybody wants to see the real Alec after everything that has occurred. Some are wondering if Baldwin is doing the reality show because he needs money in the wake of his legal woes arising from the accidental shooting. Is it possible this is about money? I mean, that's not out of the question. This would provide a consistent and steady paycheck for him. We are if you've ever said to yourself, man, I should wear a condom or I should get a vasectomy, and then maybe you went, eh, it doesn't sound like it's that bad to have kids. Listen to this. Close your eyes. Un unless, you're dri <laughs> unless you're driving, close your eyes and listen to this. <laughs> and when I hear that, it makes me even more grateful that I got the vasectomy. 856-49-HOPPY. Um, That's 856-494-6773. We're going to take you back. The 2007. You might think I'm being a little hard on Alec Baldwin. Mm hmm. But remember this voicemail he left to his daughter? Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? Yeah. And I want to leave a message for you right now. What is it? Again, it's 10 30 here in New York on a Wednesday. It's such a boomer to thing to leave the I time. Of myself trying to get you a phone to call you at a specific time. When the time comes for me to make the phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing, and I go and I make that phone call. At He's got that New York accent, phone call. 11 o'clock in the morning in New York, and if you don't pick up the phone at 10 o'clock at night, and you don't even have that goddamn phone turned on, I want you That is so old school, not having a phone turned on. Everyone's got the phone on, because this is from 07. I know something, okay? Uh, I'm tired of playing this game with you. I'm leaving this message with you to tell you, you have insulted me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a... Can you imagine telling your daughter you don't have the brains or decency? Like, you're a real scumbag. Human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old. Or that I love that part. He doesn't even know his daughter's age. He's like, ah, you're 11 or 12, one of the two. 12 years old or 11 years old, or that you're a child, or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass who doesn't care about what you do as far as I'm concerned. He's projecting because he seems like a thought, a thoughtless pain in the you-know-what. You have humiliated me for the last time with this phone. Mm. And when I come out there next week, I'm going to fly out there for the day just to straight you out. That sounds like a threat. Oh, Dad, why aren't you around more? And then you got him saying this, and they're like, actually, I'm glad you're a deadbeat. Next week, I'm going to fly out there for the day just to straight you out. That's a weird threat, man. On this issue, I'm going to let you know just how disappointed in you I am and how angry I am with you that you've done this to me again. You uh, behavior comes from what the parents taught. So if your daughter's behavior is not living up to your approval, maybe you failed as a father. <laughs> now, I don't know for sure if his daughters have ever seen a therapist, but my goodness, would that therapist make a lot of money? Mm -hmm. Would that therapist just be rolling in the dough? 856-49-HOPPY. 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio. And you can always email me, ryanhoppyradio at gmail.com. Now, we're about to take a quick break. If you're listening on the radio, don't touch that dial. But if you're listening on the podcasting platform, keep listening. And if you're listening on the radio and want to learn more about me, it's H-O-P-P-E radio on all major podcasting platforms. And it's Ryan Hoppy Radio, R-Y-A-N, H-O-P-P-E radio on all platforms. We will be right back on Hoppy Hour. Do not touch that radio dial or that smart device. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. 
Happy Hour. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. So I have this saying on my show that if you don't feel like listening to the bangers that I'm playing, mm -hmm, you can skip forward 10 minutes. But trust me, I pick some good songs to play on Happy Hour. And here is Young Bino with Money Snap. It's a good song. And we'll be right back. song was from 2007 one of my favorite songs 
On this show, we play throwbacks that are not licensed because then if I play a song that's licensed, I will be hit with a copyright strike, and that's never fun. Happy Hour will be right back. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This following segment has been brought to you by DZBZ Honey at DZBZHoney.com. When I tell you it's the best DB, oh my goodness, I'm combining words. I was going to say CBD and Delta 8. I was going to say DBD. Hmm, that's cool. It's the best CBD and Delta 8 around. It's at dzbzhoney.com. And at checkout, use keyword hoppy, H O P P E, to save 20%. Now, 856-49-HOPPY. Tweet at him at Ryan Hoppy Radio. Now for something completely different. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. 856 856- 49 Hoppy. It's 856 494 6773. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio. You can always email me Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. If you're listening on the radio, hi, my name is Ryan Hoppy, and this is a morning radio show vibe and a podcast format. Or if you've been listening on the podcast, I appreciate it. For all the info, search Hoppy Radio on all major podcasting platforms or at ryanhoppyradio.com. Now, on this show, I try to not talk too much about Travis Kelsey because I find him insufferable. He reminds me of dudes that used to bully me. And it's not that I'm living in the past, but he just seems like such a tool. Like you look at Rob Gronkowski and he's goofy and he's funny and he's likable. And Travis just seems like the fakest dude ever. Like I look at him and I go, you're so fake. Well, the world likes him. So what am I doing wrong? Well, I got a few things here. First of all, Travis Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs went to the White House. And uh, they met Joe Biden because they won the Super Bowl this year. Because Brock Purdy choked. Mm-hmm. And um, he was told that if he was going to act up, he was going to get tased. And then this clip is from that awful podcast, New Heights, that uh, Jason and Travis do. Um, it seems like they find it funny. You do realize that they're telling you, you behave so badly that we're warning you. No! Happy Hot Topic! All right. I felt taser aimed at me. Travis Kelsey reveals he was warned about being tased while at the White House. After attending the nation's capital to celebrate the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory back in February, Travis takes to his New Heights podcast with his brother Jason Kelsey and shares that Secret Service told him they were, quote, authorized to tase him if he approached the podium. When I walked You do realize that that's not a good thing, Travis. That's implying that when you had your college graduation and you were chugging a beer and you've known to be kind of a reckless sociopath with CTE, that they're pretty much saying, we're not letting you mess with us. Approach the podium. When I walked in, we had about four or five uh, Secret Service members come up to me and tell me, you know, if you go up to that podium, we're authorized to tase you. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's implying that you have a drinking problem to tase you how about that yeah how about that yeah so like just when you think you're being slick we are authorized it is completely within our rights yes to taste it shit. is actually it seems like jason's so much smarter than travis just the way he speaks he's very you know uh, what's the word Manly. Jason speaks very much like a man because he was an offensive lineman so he had a very hard job uh, Travis is very much like, oh my God, I'm a party boy. Mm-hmm. 
actually order. And while Travis was later invited up to the podium by President Joe Biden himself and joked about being told he'd get tased if he did so, he says he was on edge the entire time. I would be too, bro. Maybe this is a slice of humble pie. You walk around thinking you're better than everybody at all times. Mm-hmm. So I, that's all that was going through my head. I had no idea yeah. President Biden was going to ask me to come up and get let me have my moment. He, I had no idea. That's awesome. Well, you nailed it. And he walks right up. And the first thing he said <laughs> is, give me the floor. And I <laughs> felt taser aimed at me when I was up there yeah. the whole time. That's No, you didn't. You're being overdramatic. Why I was up there. Don't make any quick movements. Listen, if the president invites you up. Be cool. That's, be you're not cool. going to get tased. Nah, that's a- yeah, that's Jason being smart. You know, Travis is being over dramatic and over the top. And Jason's like, relax. Still, still, if I would have did something real quick, real, real fast or like real quick or like did something <laughs> that was just in my head. Oh, he is the worst. I wonder what him and Taylor talk about a vapid relationship. It literally began by him catcalling her going, on this podcast, I went to your concert, I have your beats, and she's like, and I've been saying this, and people don't even let me get my words out when I say this. Taylor needed his publicity. Now, when I say that, people go, she's one of the most famous singers of all time, and quite possibly the Elvis of the millennial generation. Why would she need a less famous NFL tight end from a small market of Kansas City? Here's why. Because she was touring all the time, and yeah, she was re- releasing new music, but in the spring and summer of last year, all she was doing was touring. Nobody was really talking about her, because I cover celebrity news every day on Happy Hour, and then all of a sudden, she became a household name across the whole planet. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm a man of my words, I don't lie on this show, I'm telling you she needed Travis. Travis needed her more, but she needed Travis too. And I'm like, dude, I'm about to get <laughs> tased. They warned me. <laughs> Fuck, Joe, you bear trap me, you mother. <laughs> As he, ex- he talks so like, yo, 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 don't mess with me, dog. And Jason talks all, I don't know, intelligent. Explains Travis was determined to be on his best behavior this year, seeing as how he brought an expired ID and almost broke a law last year when he tried to make a speech at the podium with the presidential seal. He was only able to get a few words in. So I've been waiting for this before Patrick Mahomes quickly pulled him away, adding a simple quote, sorry, into the mic. As for what he was planning to say, well, Travis recapped the day on a June 2023 episode of his podcast and shared that all he wanted to do was take advantage of the iconic moment. So we got to get to the to the the biggest uh, thing that made social news. What yeah. were you gonna say? I just wanted when to you address went up to the podium while President Joe Biden I just was always wanted distracted. To distract. you clearly gave him. It was the oldest Dude, thing in the book, and Joe that, fell for it that, really <laughs> quick. You li- Joe falls for everything because he's got dementia. I still was. <laughs> what's over there? Like, I mean, come on. What is? <laughs> what Obviously, the president at the podium is. It's iconic, right? It's sure. iconic. Yeah. And how he how they he usually addresses the nation. Mm-hmm. To my fellow Americans, and I would that's all I wanted to say, dude. That's it. I that's just wanted, wanted to go up to there and say I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have started off with. I've always if wanted. You would to have do started this. off with my fellow Americans. <laughs> that would have been such a showstopper. I don't know. It's not jealousy because I'm proud of this podcast and where it's gone. But there's something about that podcast I find so fake. And I've gone on a few dates with girls and they'll be like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I work in radio and I have a podcast. And they're like, is it like the New Heights podcast? And I'm like, I don't know. It just not doesn't seem like a compliment when a girl says that. I've never been like, oh, yeah, please compare me to two tight ends or one tight end, one offensive line. I don't know. There's just something about the podcast that seems, I don't know, fake. Like, it just doesn't seem like a podcast where if you were to meet them in real life, you're like, oh, my goodness, are they cool people? Jason seems aight. 
Travis just seems insufferable. I don't know. Maybe it's because he tried to beat up his coach on the sideline and probably has anger problems. But there's just nothing about him I like. He just drives me nuts. And what drives me even more nuts is the Swifties that think that they're in a real relationship. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the gallery, he cheats on Taylor all the time. I have no proof of that, but I just feel like while she's touring across the world, a lot of times athletes have a lot of needs, and I'm not defending it. I'm just saying I could see it being possible. Mm -hmm. On that note, if you want to let me know what you think about that opinion, 856-49-HOPPY. That's 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Happy Radio, and you can always email me, ryanhoppyradio at gmail.com. And if you're listening in St. Petersburg and Pinellas Park, you got to go to the chill room of Pinellas Park. It is the best Cava and Kratom bar around. We record here live, and Leah is one of my favorite bartenders. Everybody's my favorite bartender here, but Leah makes really good Kratom lemonade. We will be right back on Happy Hour after this. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour will be right back. Let's see what song I should play. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's a song that's fascinating. It's called Cause the Beat's Hot, and it's by Board Bangers, and it's from seventh grade. And when I was in the hallway in seventh grade, I would listen to this all the time. It's one of the weirdest songs ever. Mm-hmm. There's a man on the bad side of town. He got a board, a new kind of board. Oh, yeah? What's so special about it? It's got a special beat. When you pick it up, the whole world start dancing. Don't tell anyone where you got this information from. The whole world's on the lookout for the skateboard. So put it in your system and let that bass hum and let it beat your eardrums till your face numb. Hey, we just too crazy, boy. Way out your lead, boy. And blow up bangers from the J to E and T. Boy, side to Long Beach, boy. Get out your seats, boy, and make way for them skaters from the streets, boy. Kick, 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 kick flips, boy. Pick chips, boy. Overseas, here we come, big trips, boy. What, 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 what you know about this thing? Flying on the weekend, bank accounts all around the world. We eating peso, francs, euro. Stop, stop. No hook on the track. Why? Because the beat's hot. Cherry whip, that bloody Mary kid. Zoom, zoom, boom, boom. I'm about to marry this. I mean that beat though, like Danny Lee though. You can catch my toes trucking like a repo. Cause this is all our block. My wood. Long Beach boys and girls, this is all hood. Cause I'm the queen. Gotta make you lean. Board banging on my line like I'm illiterate. Show stopping at the light. My rims stop. Stop, no hook on the track what? Because the beat's hot <sighs> We make your body rock. Body now do rock. the Ollie pop. Do the Ollie I got pop. you tasting different flavors like a lollipop. Hey, 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 just dance to this. And wave your hands to this. And get it popping in the club when they bang this. See, 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 I'm skateboard. Skates call me Lake Shore. Lake Shore. Some stones break bones, but I break boards. Break boards. Yeah, we stepping in the light. Light haters. Flop, flop. No hook on the track. What? Because the beat's hot. If you're feeling our song, download it for free. 
That's how you know a song's old. I'm talking about downloading it. What's the website? Morebangers.tv. Oh, uh, yeah. What's going on? Coffee Hour will be right back. But it's right here. This following segment has been brought to you by <sighs> Fortify. Dot com f o r t i f e y e dot com. When I tell you that it is the best nutrition products around, I'm a man of my words. It's run by my good friend Michael Lang. Mm-hmm. They have Fit Pro, which is this pre and post workout protein powder that is amazing. Gives you stamina and energy. Got creatine in it. I've been working out all day. I got so fat during the winter, and it makes me feel alive. Here's the deal. At checkout at F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E dot com. At checkout, use keyword R-Y-A-N 20. I know for the other websites, Mitra-9.com and DZBZHoney.com, it's keyword hoppy. But for this one, it's R-Y-A-N 20. To save 20%. Happy hour. Happy hour. We have so much to get into. Now, let me know what you think about the show. 856-49-HOPPY. 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio. And you can always email me, Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail. And now for something completely different. He never holds back, and he speaks his mind. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in, too. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. 856-49-HOPPY. It's 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio. And you can always email me, Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. <laughs> if you're listening on the radio, hi. Like I said, my name's Ryan Hoppy, and this is the morning radio show vibe in a podcast. And if you're listening via the podcast for the past 32 minutes and 35 seconds, I appreciate it. We have so much to get into. I'm telling you right now. But right now, I want to discuss Lady Gaga. Oh, happy hot topic! But we can't get into news about Lady Gaga without some circus music. Because you know why? She is a circus act. She's very talented and one of the greatest of all time. And she pretty much embraces, you know, the whole circus act. I mean, she has a show in Las Vegas and that. So before we get into Lady Gaga, I had to play circus music. But now we'll get into Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga addresses rumors she's pregnant. Speculation the singer could be expecting surfaced while she was attending her sister's wedding June 1st with her partner, Michael Polanski. Well, Mother Monster seems to have gotten wind of the chatter and is clapping back in a new video on TikTok. I love when they say that the celebrities are clapping back. Like, that's the most overused word. In the clip, Gaga shows off her winged eyeliner and bleached brows while text over the vid reads, not pregnant, just down bad crying at the gym. Turning her followers' attention to more pressing matters, the Oscar winner goes on to share a link to register to vote. Yeah. Uh, she probably wants the Americans to vote for Biden. And um, I'm proud to say right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the gallery, I'm going to be honest with you because I'm an honest man on this show. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I will be voting at all. I don't have the interest. I don't care. When there's a millennial president, you might see me voting. The last person I voted for was Obama. I also don't like that in Florida where I record that if you vote, your address is out there. And since I'm a public figure, I don't want people knowing where my studio apartment is. And neither Trump nor Biden know who the hell I am yet. So why should I care? I know that opinion's gonna stir up some people. Oh, it's your right to vote, you should know. If it's my right to vote, 
then it's my right not to vote. 856-49-HOPPY. That's 856-494-6773. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Lady G's message comes just a few months after she sparked engagement rumors with Michael, a little more than four years after they began dating. She's smart. She's dating someone that's not famous because I feel like the relationships in Hollywood that survive are the ones that are full of people that are not famous. Mm-hmm. You have Lady Gaga and this guy Michael doing well. Um, but you see, like, Benefer, they're not doing well. Back in January 2020, the celeb and the tech entrepreneur were photographed kissing at a New Year's Eve party in Las Vegas. That is the perfect person to date, someone in tech. They got money, they got swagger, and they're not famous. Fast forward to the following month, and Gaga had her fans going wild after making their relationship Instagram official. She captioned her post, We had so much fun in Miami. Love to all my little monsters and fans. You're the best. In April of that year, the singer declared Michael was the, quote, love of her life during a virtual appearance on MSNBC's Morning Joe. That same month, the source told E! News their love only got stronger amid the pandemic. She is happy for this time with him, the insider explained. They've been staying at her place in Malibu, watching movies, cooking, and just hanging out. Two things. First of all, if your relationship survived a pandemic, you truly are with the person that you're meant to be. And second of all, you know Lady Gaga probably loves the low-key part of this relationship. Mm -hmm. Think about it this way. You know her whole life. She's been out and about dating people. And the fact that she can just watch Netflix at home, she probably loves. As the source previously noted, she is incredibly happy with him. And it's the type of happiness that the 13-time Grammy winner couldn't keep to herself, especially... 13-time Grammy winner? That is a lot. Mm-hmm. ...on her 35th birthday. She captioned a March 2021 Instagram post featuring a gorgeous bouquet of flowers. When your boyfriend sends you all the flowers in Rome for your birthday, I love you, honey. I can't wait to be home with you and our dogs. That's all I need. Yeah, she's a classy woman. Mm-hmm. I saw this headline here, and this one fascinated me. If you're taking a trip with your friend... 856-49-HOPPY. That's 856-494-6773. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Happy Radio. And you can always email me, ryanhoppyradio at gmail.com. Notorious B.I.G.'s mom, Valletta Wallace, has some strong words for Sean Diddy Combs amid his legal troubles. The yeah, you know if uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s mom is speaking up, that you're in a lot of trouble. Late rapper's mom reacts in a new Rolling Stone interview to the mounting allegations against her son's former collaborator, who recently apologized for physically assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie following the release of security footage from 2016. Valletta tells Rolling Stone, I'm sick to my stomach, adding, I'm praying for Cassie, I'm praying for his mother. I don't want to believe the things that I've heard, but I've seen the hotel video. I pray that he apologizes to her. She adds, I yeah, that apology Diddy put up was so fake. There was not there was not one part of it I watched where I'm like, oh, it's so real. I hope that I see Sean one day, and the only thing I want to do is slap the daylights out of him. <gasps> adding, and you can quote me on that. Because I liked him. I didn't want to believe all the awful things, but I'm so ashamed and embarrassed. One of the saddest things I've ever uh, saw, I watched the Notorious B.I.G. documentary about three years ago on Netflix, and... um. He left crack out on the windowsill and his mom thought it was like scrambled eggs. And she said when she found out after he died that she was that he was dealing crack out of her house. And that's what that was on the windowsill that she has never been so mad at a dead person. So, you know, that notorious B.I.G.'s mom has been through a lot. It comes amid mounting legal troubles for the Bad Boy Records mogul. Most recently, the 54-year-old was sued by April Lampros, a woman who alleges Diddy sexually assaulted her on four occasions, according to the claim obtained by NBC News. I just want him to actually get charged. Like, it's cool that all this um, awareness is coming out about how much of a piece of garbage he is. But can we actually, like, get a charge on him, please? Please? In a statement obtained by NBC News shortly after the filing, Lampro said, I'm confident that justice will prevail and the veil will be removed so no other woman will have to endure what I did. E! News has... It was just weird when they literally had the um, raid of his house and then it was like nothing happened from it. I, I don't know. The whole thing is very suspicious to me.
has reached out to Diddy's reps for comment on the accusations and has not yet heard back. In March, federal agents raided two of the mogul's homes, executing search warrants ordered by the Southern District of New York at his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Yeah, that was three months ago because we're recording this right now on June 5th. I don't know. It's sad. Utterly ridiculous. Also, some big headlines here. It says right here that um, Sydney Sweeney is getting a house for $20 million in Florida, which that can get you a really big house in Florida. In Los Angeles, that would get you a shack. <laughs> hey, Sydney Sweeney, if you're ever in the St. Petersburg area, hit me up, 856 49 Hoppy. It's 856 856- Four nine four six seven seven three, and to the audience, you can reach me at that number. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio, and you can always email me Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail dot com. We have so much that we have to get into. Um, if you're listening on the radio, don't touch that dial. If you're listening on the podcast, keep on listening. Uh, coming up next, we're going to talk about Dr. Pepper and Kanye West, which if there was a way to describe Happy Hour, it would be the fact that we're talking about soda and then we're talking about Kanye West. You know, this is a show where you never know the direction I'm going to take it in. And some people would say that's because you're unpredictable. And I say it's because I have ADHD. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Happy Hour will be right back. Like I say before every song, if you don't feel like listening to it, you can skip forward three minutes. But here is Droked Out by Soundmaster T. This was one of my favorite songs from 2008 growing up in Chicago. We'll be right back. I can't walk. I, 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 I can't 
Tiny Tow. Working from the day to the dark. She fall for square, but my goons on P. It's drinks on you, all eyes on me. And niggas with me drinking dark. Henny mix with Remy Ma. Party going all night. When we kick it. What's going on? Niggas with they smoke out. They be getting choked out. Look a nigga. We be getting choked out. We be getting choked out. What up? Oh yeah, they just don't make songs like this anymore. <gasps> this following segment has been brought to you by Amir Academy of Martial Arts at AmirAcademy.com. When I tell you that he is the best boxing trainer in all of the May, in all of the May, in all of the Bay Area, I'm a man of my words. One of the best parts about him is his. Uh, boxing bags he's got a gym he's got women's self-defense classes kids classes mma classes he's just the best around go to amiracademy.com for all of the info Mm -hmm. oh yeah let that be trap this is also being brought to you by fitsagefitness.net Devin Prasad the best personal trainer in all the Bay Area. Also being brought to you by WestChasePrinting.com. The best printing company in all the Bay Area. I don't know if you notice this trend, but I surround myself with the absolute best. It's like that song from the Karate Kid. I'm the best around. But trust me, I got to I got to stay humble. Uh-huh. All right, we have so much to get into, so we're going to come back on Happy Hour and do it right now. Mm -hmm. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. It's time for Happy in the Morning. Welcome back to the circus known as Happy Hour. And now for something completely different. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. Welcome back to Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. If you're listening on the radio, hi. My name is Ryan Hoppy, and this is where I talk about celebrity news, dating, and much more. If you're listening on the podcast for the past 47 minutes and 55 seconds, 56 seconds, 57 seconds, 58 seconds, 59, 48 minutes, thank you for listening. You can tweet at me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio, and you can always email me, RyanHoppyRadio at gmail.com. Now, we are going to talk about Dr. Pepper. Big news from the Cola Wars this morning. Pepsi is no longer the second biggest soda brand behind Coke. It's Dr. Pepper. Uh, (laughs) Yes, the doctor is in. The carbonated beverage has a blend of 23 flavors. Hoda has inched ahead of Pepsi. as the. I don't know why. I think it's because there's no caffeine, but I'm not the biggest fan of Dr. Pepper. Like, I don't hate it, but it just feels like empty. It's like drinking decaf coffee. I love caffeine. I don't know if you can tell by the speed and the pace that I speak on this podcast. Mm Mm-hmm. But I love caffeine. The number two soda in the country, that's according to sales data from Beverage Digest, which you never miss, do you? (laughs) Industry experts say Dr. Pepper has been inching upwards for years. Pepsi's been trending down. However, Coke. Yeah, I do love Coke. A cola. Is still the dominant number one soda. It's got a market share more than double the second place competitor. I like Coca-Cola, but I feel like I'm more thirsty afterwards. Like it never quenches my thirst. Um, Now, Jennifer Lopez, we're going to move on. Because I told you, you never know where I'm going to go on this podcast. I could be talking about Dr. Pepper or talking about Jennifer Lopez being a liar. Mm Mm-hmm. Here's the thing with Jennifer Lopez is her tour got canceled and she was trying to say, I want to spend time with family and friends. And um, she's always been an awful person to be around. I do like her music, but she's saying that there's negativity negativity surrounding her failed tour. Um, Let's hear what she has to say. Oh, happy hot topic. 
Jennifer Lopez is addressing the, quote, negativity amid her canceled tour. Days after the On the Floor singer announced she was scrapping her This Is Me Live tour, Jennifer alludes to the chatter about her private life, including the state of her and Ben Affleck's marriage in a message celebrating the success of her movie Atlas and seeming... Oh, wait, there's a post about Jennifer Lopez where she made the post and it's about her celebrating herself? Because she's always been such a humble person. Ugh. Lee clapping back at the critics. She writes in her On the J-Lo newsletter, June 5th, it may- Can you imagine signing up for the J-Lo newsletter? It's so 2002. It seem like there's a lot of negativity out in the world right now. You're projecting and speaking about yourself. You've always been known as a bully. Mm-hmm. You're literally talking about yourself, Jello. Don't let the voices of a few drown out that there is so much love out there. Is uh, Ben Affleck feeling love from you? Is, ever, is everybody around you feeling love from you? I'm just saying. She concludes her message with some love for her fans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all so much. Um, People that use the word love all the time, it really is creepy because it's like, that's such an important word that if you go around saying, I love you, I love you. Like I used to work with somebody in radio that tells everybody that he loves them. And it's like, you're overusing the word. Mm-hmm. Jennifer's tour was set to begin June 26th in Orlando. The Live Nation announced May 31st that she canceled it to spend time with her family and close friends. The 54-year-old wrote in her newsletter at the time, I am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down. No, you're sad about the lack of money that's going to come into your bank account because your uh, new album, which I'm actually a fan of, failed. Please know that I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary. It was, it was necessary because the arenas were going to be empty. It's going to be like, waiting for tonight? Oh, nobody's there in attendance. Waiting for tonight? Uh -huh. Just saying. Promise I will make it up to you and we will all be together again. But I love how she's acting like she's what's keeping the world together. Like, oh, Jennifer Lopez canceled her tour. No, how are we going to survive by spending $175 on a washed up auto tune act that copied Selena? If Selena never died, there would be no JLo. Her music isn't the only news to make headlines recently. The Hustler star and her husband of nearly two years have sparked breakup speculation for weeks. With Ru Yeah, Ben, um, I've never met Ben Affleck. I don't think I'm going to ever meet Ben Affleck. I would love to meet Ben Affleck. But I got some advice from for you, Ben. I've been through breakups. Uh, I never got back with an ex and I never plan on it. But hear this sound effect right here? You hear that running sound effect? Yeah. That's how you should be, bro. Run from J-Lo. Run. Run as fast as you can. Get away from her. Run. Get out. While you're free, I'm just saying. There's no reason to date her anymore. Rumors surging after Jennifer walked the red carpet at the 2024 Met Gala solo. How... I love the people that break down the Met Gala. Like, that looks like the most pretentious thing ever. Ever, Ben's rep confirmed to E! News that he missed the event due to filming The Accountant 2 in L.A. Jer yeah, everybody makes it about relationships. It's not like uh, Ben Affleck's making movies while J.Lo's making music and tours that aren't really happening, that are bombing. Ben Affleck's actually doing things. Jennifer also raised eyebrows when she liked a March 19th Instagram post about healthy relationships, which read in part, quote, you can't build a relationship with someone who is disconnected from themselves. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez seems like she likes everything and posts on and has all these social media posts and everything where she thinks she's talking about other people, but it's all just her projecting herself. She needs to go to therapy, but she's too much of a narcissist to do that. 856-49-HOPPY. That's 856-494-6773. Uh, we got a few minutes before the break. Kathy Lee Gifford recalls her fury over her late husband Frank's shocking affair with a flight attendant and says that she chose to stay with him because if she didn't, it would put her whole family at risk. 
I guess he had a glamorous uh, affair with an ex-flight attendant. And um, Kathy Lee Gifford, I hate to break it to you. I'm not trying to be rude, but that's not the only person that he had an affair with. Usually cheaters do it all the time. And um, I'm not saying you were with him for money because even when this happened, I was four years old in 1997. I'm not trying to make the audience feel old, but I don't really remember, remember it. But a lot of these people that cheat, these people in power, um, that's not the first time and not the only time that they did. And I'm assuming they probably went on to have an open relationship. And I've worked with people in the past in the entertainment business to have open relationships. And it's the most awkward thing because you go to like a Christmas party and you're hanging out at their house and they're in one room talking to a bunch of girls on Snapchat and then the wife's in the other room talking about how awful they are to be around. And you're just like, I know that you guys cheat on each other all the time <laughs> it's very awkward all right we are going to take a quick break on happy hour if you're listening on the radio right now hi i appreciate it don't touch that radio dial great content is coming up but if you're listening on the podcasting platform i appreciate it if you want to learn more about my show search up h-o-p-p-e radio on all major podcasting platforms you can call me 856 856- 49 Hoppy. It's 856 494 6773. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio and you can always email me Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. This show is for the hardworking average Joe and Jane that grind in life. When I record this show, I picture entertaining people while they're sitting in traffic. I don't care if you're in the UK and you're driving on the right side of the car or if you're in America and you're driving on the left. I'm always here to entertain you. That's what I go for. All righty. We will be right back on happy hour after this. Do not touch that radio dial or that device. However the hell you are listening to. Happy hour. Happy hour. Happy hour will be right back. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a quick break. If you don't feel like listening to this, like I say, you can skip forward four minutes. But this is a good song. This is Herda featuring GLC and Vi. We'll be right back. Y'all not tuned with something beautiful right here. Something epic. Big somebody This is official. Matthias. Let's make it. Look. I was being a nice guy. I lead that to them dudes that shoot hoops. I'd rather roll through in a new coupe with chicks that get 200 to do shoots. Rolling a shooby dooby while we listen to smooth grooves. Dude, I tried to told you I'm hot like magma. And keep them in. I'm stashed up in the Dodge Magnum near the stash of the Magnums. Never know which one I'm going to use. Right there, I got a couple people confused. Cause I never lose. Cause I never snooze. Pops, then I pop this shit knock you out of your shoes. I shut down crews. And rock Taylor May suits and Louis shoes. Yeah. It's hard to do what I do. Stunning like evil can evil. Keep a watch face see through. I do this for my people. Selling through they screen though. My mom said I was a walking felony. Cause I kept 16s in the closet like Kelly. Shop with the sellers. Songs ain't fucking at them. Chickens ain't fucking at them. Bees ain't searching at them. Birds ain't chirping. I heard them up. 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 I I'm not a mad rapper, I'm a disgruntled MC And I teach you dudes about tussling with me Truth is, I hate these marks I should pull this jammy and spark And leave these rappers handicapped park And when you see your boy out, bow down or kiss the ring With a crew about myself, I ain't worried about a thing This is Shot City, man where the f*** you from? And your chick can't go up, she ain't gobbling. My partner Supreme told me flows hard on these monkeys. I hit pro gems and told them, make my wrist chunky. Chain hung like donkey. And fuck them dudes who want it. Nickname, beautiful, keep them breasts. Don't man, homie, I'm funky like woo. I to let you know that I'm serious When them blocks get hot I'm in the streets bad chested I got money invested These detectives My dogs ain't barking at them Chickens ain't barking at them Pigs ain't searching at them Birds ain't chirping I'm a hurt them up I hurt them up I hurt them up I hurt them up I hurt them up I'm a hustler for free. 
This ain't the young and restless. You could say the drama like support boy. Put your life on pause like a comma. When you cutting corners and you stacking money. Once again, turn comedians, man, they get to acting funny. I know the MCs, the real MCs. Shame on same dude, man, them was so shopping with me. Get a pumpkin head in front of your little daughter. You a broke pop machine, get you out of order. I'ma come and get you. Don't make me keep me hit you with the shells like a snail or armadillo. Watch the blue lights. With the blue film slice it, slice it, make them look like he got gills. This ain't artificial, man. This real throw him in like Michigan and hope the nigga can't swim. And if he can't, I guess he won't live. Giving names, get your change. He ain't hate a bitch. Hey, Let's go. I am the grave. I'm hurting him. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eight five six forty nine hoppy. It's eight five six four nine four six seven seven three. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio, and you can always email me Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Ah, we got about ten minutes left. Go to f o r t i f e y e dot com, and at checkout, use keyword R Y A N twenty. On dating apps, he's six foot nine, but in reality, he's six foot eight and a half. Now for something completely different. Call Hoppy now. 856 49 Hoppy. Tweet at him at Ryan Hoppy Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. Oh, yeah. 856 49 Hoppy. 856 494 6773. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio, and you can always email me, Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. If you're listening on a radio, this is your first time. Hi. This is a morning radio vibe in a podcast. But if you've been listening for the past hour and three minutes and 45 seconds, thank you for listening. If you're listening on the radio and you want to hear more, search up H-O-P-P-E on all major podcasting platforms. All righty. Let's talk about Kanye West. Oh, happy hot topic. Action from his former assistant. Let me rewind that. Kanye West is facing legal action from his former assistant. Lauren Pichota is suing West for a number of complaints, including wrongful termination, sexual harassment, quid pro quo in hostile environment, unlawful retaliation, unpaid wages, and gender discrimination as seen in documents obtained by... This is so obvious. He seems like such a dirtbag. I mean, listen to this long list. Like, I'm not surprised that he doesn't pay people. He seems like someone that's impossible to get money from. Sexual harassment, quid pro quo in hostile environment, yeah. unlawful retaliation, mm-hmm. unpaid wages, Got and it. gender discrimination as seen in documents obtained by E! News. Bishota worked for West for about a year and a half after she was hired by the rapper in July of 2021. At the yeah, I bet at first she's like, oh my goodness, this is my big break. And then within 30 minutes, she's like, this is awful. Mm-hmm. Time, she was making around $1 million per year through social media, of which she alleges in her suit that West approved. However. Yeah, so at first he's your boy, he's cool with it. And then what happens? A year later, she claims West asked that Pashoda become, quote, godlike and delete her OnlyFans account. A- yeah, that's what happens when you work with a lot of creative people. I've had this before in radio where people claim to have your back. And then when you go out and do your own thing, then they're threatened. 
According to the Sioux, West promised to pay Peixota $1 million in compensation for the loss of the account, but that he allegedly never paid. Additionally, Peixota claims in her suit that West sent her a multitude of inappropriate and graphically sexual messages and videos throughout her employment, examples of which included in the documents describe his sexual fantasies, sexual encounters with an unnamed model, and other messages which, quote, suggested or insinuated that the plaintiff wanted to have sex with the defendant and actually had sexual intercourse with the defendant. When Listen, I love like 2004 to 2014 Kanye West music, but he seems like such an awful dude. And in fact, she did not want to and never indeed did do. Additionally, Peshota alleges that in mid-September of 2022, she was offered a promotion to a chief of staff role that came with an accompanying raise, which brought her annual salary from $1 million to $4 million. That's quite the pay raise. Yet, while Peshota says she accepted the role and began performing its duties accordingly, Goody. she claims, quote, despite expressing their great satisfaction with plaintiff's job performance, defendants continued to fail to pay plaintiff as they had previously promised. Then in October of 2022, Peshota claimed her employment was terminated, at which time she was offered a severance of $3 million, which she... That is a lot of money if you really think about it. Mm -hmm. She accepted, but says she was never paid. The documents say, quote, as a result of defendants' discriminatory, retaliatory, and unlawful actions against her, the plaintiff has suffered and continues to suffer damages. Yeah, Kanye West not paying people does not surprise me. All right, what the hell is going on with Hunter Biden? Happy birthday to First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, but this probably isn't the way she would like to be spending her special day, attending the first day of her stepson Hunter Biden's federal gun trial inside a Delaware courthouse. But there she was in a bright purple suit flanked by Secret Service agents. Les Trent reports. <gasps> First Lady Jill Biden put her support for son Hunter on full display today, wearing a bright purple pantsuit as she attended the first day of his federal trial. She must have such a headache of a life. She's got to deal with Joe, then she's got this son. That's him. Hunter Biden. The president's son's case begins this morning. Jury selection is underway in Hunter Biden's felony gun charges trial. This is the first time the child of a sitting president has gone on trial. Dr. Jill turned 70. Listen. I don't vote. I don't care about either politician. But could you imagine if this was Trump's kid? It would be talked about so much more. Three today. And the unusual way that she spent her birthday was not lost on Hunter. He was overheard joking with her. Happy birthday. I got you a special event. What a dirtbag. Mm hmm. CBS News reporter Scott McFarlane is at the courthouse. Everybody in the room was struck when we saw Hunter Biden give his mother a small embrace during a lunch break. Also showing support for Biden today, wife Melissa Cohen. The pair held hands as they strode into the Delaware courthouse. The president spent the weekend with his son going on a bike ride in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, where the Bidens own a beach house. The president issued this statement. I am the president, but I am also a dad. Yeah, not a very good dad. Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today. How serious a case is this for Hunter Biden? This is all kinds of a nightmare scenario for Hunter Biden. First of all, he's facing three felonies, each of which could result in prison time. They're going to dig deep into the depths of his drug addiction. The criminal trial focuses on allegations that the president's son purchased a Colt Cobra 38 special revolver in October 2018 while allegedly addicted to drugs. Prosecutors say he lied on this background check, declaring that he was not addicted to any narcotic drug or any other controlled substance. But two days after he purchased the gun, Prosecutors allege he sent this text. I was sleeping on a car smoking crack on 4th and Rodney, referring to an intersection. In <laughs> you imagine if Trump's kid said that? I mean, come on now. <gasps> in the city of Wilmington. All of his embarrassing, dirty laundry out there in public view with the world watching. That's him. 
By the end of the day, a 12-person jury of six men and six women was seated, along with four alternates. Hunter Biden. Yeah. It just seems like this really isn't being covered as much as the Trump trial. And um, I guess they're using his, mem his memoir audio against him. <laughs> we don't have enough time to play that clip, but uh, yeah. He probably shouldn't have wrote that book. I mean, the only, the only press he got from it was uh, going on Jimmy Kimmel's awful show. All right. We've been recording the show for about 70 minutes. And um, I think it's time that it comes to an end. If you're listening on a radio, do not touch that radio dial. But guess what? You can search Hoppy Radio on all major platforms to listen. 856-49-HOPPY. That's 856 856- 494-6773. You can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio. And you can always email me, Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. Like I say, this is for the hardworking average Joe and Jane that grind in life. I'm always thinking about you guys when I'm driving down the road and doing my thing. And if you're driving down the road and listening, I appreciate you listening. All right. Go to RyanHoppyRadio.com for all the info on all 14 platforms that this podcast is on. Um, what else? We got 30 seconds here. We record from St. Petersburg, Florida, and it's a beautiful time here. If you're in London, I really want you to reach out to me because I always want to go to London, and this is going to be a London name drop, but I love the Chris Moyle show, and I like to emulate myself after his hyper type of radio, so I really appreciate that. I'm also a diehard fan of Caesar the Geezer from back in the day. So um, this just in, I'm kind of a radio geek. All right. We are going to end right now, and I'll talk to you soon. Happy hour. Happy hour. And like that, he's gone.